Hey guys, so uh, you remember, uh, I believe it was on Christmas Eve, I posted a video about this move and how it can be used for timing and direction combinations. Um, there's an interesting side effect to that that I wanted to explore but didn't have time for in that video and uh, thought I'd do it right now. Um, so remember that video when I was talking about how we can make the switch to same time, same direction of this by having the two hands come up and meet each other and then going up and around? Well, we have the option of doing that same thing but changing the spacing of it such that we wind up with poi and head meeting rather than poi and poi, right? Head and hand, excuse me. So rather than have hands meet together and poi heads meet together, we can instead have hand and poi meet, hand and poi meet. Now, why this is cool is because we can then take this little ditty and do the float transition out that poi boy demonstrated and use it to come up with pendulum versus cap up high. Why I didn't demo this before is I didn't know how to get out of it, but now I do. Uh, there are two flavors of this. One that works off of the arc in the cap, one that works off of the anti-spin in the cap. Uh, let me show you how these both work. Break it down. Essentially we're talking about uh, overlapping grids of circles, right? So when we perform this action right here, we're in a position where our hands are always one poi length apart. We can use this to our advantage if, say, we stop with one hand down low and one up high. You'll notice that the poi are now in same time, same direction. Whereas if I were to switch, oops, whereas if I were to switch back into the cap versus pendulum, they are going to switch which time and direction they are in relation to each other, right? But what I can also do is I can switch off which hand is um, the hand doing the small circle, which hand is the big circle, such that I could say come back around in a hybrid, which I could switch back into cap versus pendulum down below, right? So from here, it's just as easy for me to be up here or down here, yeah? So to put that all together, we do cat versus pendulum down below, stall, float, float, cat versus pendulum up high, and do the hybrid and back around to cat versus pendulum down below. Now you may notice that this takes you into cat versus pendulum in the opposite orientation of the one that we started in. Sometimes it just doesn't work out symmetrically. Oh well. Um, if that bugs you, you can do the transition off of uh, the anti-spin up high, but it is a lot harder. Um, let me show you what I mean. So, from right here, if we switch the orientation of our anti-spin slightly, we can wind up in a position where head and, uh, head and hand, head and hand meet up, right? To get out of this, we have the hand that is doing the anti-spin. Its orientation is to keep turning around this direction, whereas the hand that's doing pendulum, we're essentially stopping and we're going to have it move around in a point isolation style movement, wherein we turn our hand around the poi head and go into either a cat eye, or we can switch it into a cap once again. Um, the, the cap transition is kind of sticky because you actually are treating it like a triquetra at first until you get around back to the arc, and then you can switch it into the standard uh, four pedal kind of orientation that we're used to seeing with caps. This is exactly the same way that you treat the transition uh, that Ronan does from neighboring caps. Like so, right? We're essentially talking about doing it twice in a row. So, um, let's start by going up here and we're going to go ahead get our orientation right and drop it into cat versus pendulum again. It's kind of it, it, it's kind of rough the first few times you try it. I'm not going to lie. Um, to do the slightly easier variant on it, we go from here to cat versus or rather uh, isolation versus cat eye, 
and then we can switch into Cat vs. Benchlin again. So, that demo again, Cat vs. Benchlin down below, stall, float, float, Cat vs. Benchlin up high, we get ourselves in the right orientation, and we pop down into ISO versus Cat Eye, and then we pop out of it into Pendulum versus Cat once again. And this actually returns us to the same orientation. Um, there's a point in there where the poi head is really going to snap and you've got to be on your game about getting your timing right, but aside from that I think it looks really cool because it keeps the spacing of uh, the hand and poi heads reasonably, um, reasonably consistent throughout, right? So, have fun with that. I know I am. And, uh, yeah, more to come. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.